All right, so Insanity Max 30 video diary. My dog is right here. Video diary day one. Um, I didn't start on Monday. I started on Wednesday, so I actually did the Wednesday workout, which is called Sweat Intervals. I just finished. I'm still out of breath. <laughs> I'm a mess. Um, man, usually I do a whole blog post. For every program, I do a blog post kind of breaking down my thoughts about each workout, but I think this time I'm going to stick to a video diary and just throw this on my website. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with it, but anyways, there are so many things I could say about this disc, about this workout. If I wouldn't have been kicking my ass so hard, I would have had a notepad with me taking notes because, man, this workout is crazy. It is intense. It is the hardest workout I think I've ever done, including Insanity. I feel like with Insanity, even though it was so fast paced, it was much slower than this program. It's kind of like he knew that people didn't want to do a 45 to 60 minute workout. So Shanti was like, let me just cram everything into 30 minutes and we're going to get through it fast. Um, I was kind of delusional <laughs> because I was that tired, but I think there was about three or four 30 second breaks from this program. I maxed out at 6 minutes and 22 seconds. Um, the whole gist, the whole idea behind maxing out is to see how long you can push yourself, how hard. It's not just like breezing through to try to get, you know, the longest max out possible. You don't want to try to go, oh, I'm going to, you know, slightly push for 15 minutes and then max out at 15 minutes. No. Shanti wants you to push. He wants you to work as hard as you absolutely can, as hard as you possibly can, and then see where you max out. So. It's actually ideal if in the beginning you max out in the beginning of the workout, in the beginning of the disc, because that shows that you pushed yourself super hard. So I maxed out at 6 minutes and 22 seconds, um, and I maxed out because of my legs. I have not worked out in over a month now. I talked about it in one of my last videos, but I've been dealing with a lot of health issues, so I took the month off, and I knew that coming into this program, the legs were going to be the issue. And it was 6 minutes and 20 seconds. My legs felt like, even in the warm-up, my legs felt heavy as a freaking like 12-ton boulder. Um, but I pushed through it. And it was really cold in here, so it took a while for my muscles to get warmed up. But at 6 minutes and 22 seconds, my muscle just gave out. Um, so far, while I hate the program, um, I know it's going to be really, really, really difficult for me to put in the disc every day. I know it. I just... The feeling that you feel when you're pushing through a workout that hard, it's almost so defeating. Like, it would be super easy for me to go, hey, I haven't worked out in a month. Like, let me stop at 10 minutes. I did the best I could do, and I thought about that. I had all these demons going on in my head telling me, just quit. Like, you could go again tomorrow. But I was like, no, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it honestly. And while it is super, super difficult, it is so motivating. It is so motivating. You know, the it's really fast paced. The music is really upbeat. One thing, probably my favorite thing about Insanity was that it's not like a lot of the programs that you do where the participants keep up the whole time and you feel like, why can't I keep up? Why am I feeling so hard? With Insanity, there were people falling on the floor all over the place. There were people taking breaks at different times in the video. And that to me, it feels good because I don't feel like I'm in competition with anybody but myself. I feel like they're on their own journey, they're falling out at their own time, and that happened in this program. Everybody, you kind of see people running in the background to get water, or it's right down their max out times, or just taking a break, kneeling over. I spent a ton of my workout kneeled over trying to catch my breath. I ran outside to throw up twice, even though I didn't throw up, but I'm pretty sure I like gagged as hard as my body could gag. Um, but I've never in any, I, I keep looking at the disc, I don't know why, and my DVD plays so but, and my animals are fighting. I've never, ever, ever, um, in over two years doing programs, have ever talked back to the TV, ever. Not even during Insanity. Like, with Insanity, if he said, oh, I bet you hate me right now, I would just, like, kind of smirk and laugh. With this one, he tells you, like, how are you feeling right now? And you're just like... I want to die. And he's like, no, really, talk to me. I cannot come to your screen, but I want you to tell me through the screen, how are you feeling right now? And I said, Shanti, I feel like I'm dying. Um, and then at the end, they do this uh, cross-jack jabs where you, you know, jump jack, jab. 
and you know they're saying one two one two or max out max out and I found myself screaming back at the TV I don't know why but I guess I felt like just to get through that workout I had to scream back at the TV so so far day one sweat intervals it is tough it is really hard it is gonna test me mentally and I hope you guys are gonna hold me accountable and that's pretty much all I have to say about it but I swear anybody can do this program there's a modifier the entire way through yes you're supposed to feel like you're dying but that is what is going to promote change that is what once you reach that point where you break past that barrier that you're setting up in your mind you become a whole other person you start seeing everything else in your life as a wall that you can break through you know you're kind of like I got through that when I didn't think I could get through that so what can I do but this problem standing in front of my face what can I do to fix it I know it's not impossible I know I can do it so that is the whole purpose of a workout like this I highly recommend it so far thank you guys for holding me accountable and for staying on my journey and I will see you guys for the next video blog looking just as terrible as I look today alright bye guys